Hey, Al here with a quick update in terms of how do you keep your attendance accurate in a post grid view fix world. As many of you have heard, the author of uh, grid view fix has um, basically thrown in the towel. Apparently, uh, Google is building a, uh, a new version or an update or about to release an update, which specifically kills grid view fix. Um, as you can see on my screen here, I do have the grid view fix extension still installed. It's not enabled at the moment. Um, but if you, just to kind of force the issue here, uh, if you launch the, uh, the, uh, a meet and uh, grid, grid view fix is available but not enabled, you will get this message. You can make that message go away simply by clicking on it. But the problem is right now, grid view is still there and uh, conceivably not working. Uh, to get rid of it, we can go to the little puzzle piece icon in the uh, in the top left corner, right corner. Click on Manage Extensions, and in here, there's my Grid View Fix. You can either remove the extension or simply disable it. And uh, if there is a prospect that it might come back, maybe uh, maybe disabling is the uh, is the option. If you remove it right now. Uh, you will not be able to reinstall it because the, uh, the Grid View Fix extension has been removed from the uh, from the Chrome Store. Although there is um, a link on the uh, Facebook page that uh, uh, that tells you how to uh, to resurrect it. So back to the meet. So we have no Grid View Fix. It's not working right now. So the alternative to that is to go to the. Why is it? Oh, because haha, why didn't it appear? I couldn't see all the the options here because I was in front of the menu. Uh, click on the vertical ellipsis, the three dots in the bottom right corner of the uh, screen. Change layout. And again, I have to move myself. And change to the tiled layout. And make sure that you have enough tiles so that uh, all of your students will, will be visible on the screen, in theory. Uh, you can change that up to a maximum of 49. If you have more than 49 students in your class, I am sorry. I am truly sorry. I don't have a good fix for you at this moment. I don't know how to uh, how to uh, make things work properly for you. Now, even if you have 49 students um, selected or 49 tiles selected, they may not appear on the screen properly. And to show you that, if I change over to my grid view here, hang a second, into my screenshot here, and this is a this is a screenshot. Um, so you can see in my in my meet that I had uh, earlier this morning. And let's just get rid of me altogether. Um, this is a uh, this is a screenshot using a tool called Greenshot Editor, which is an open source uh, screen capture tool, which is which is great. Um, you can see that uh, I have my meet, but there's a number of students who are seemingly ghosting me. Four students here that that have ghosted me. So they're they're not in the meet, in theory. The problem is that I'm sharing my screen. And for whatever reasons, Google, when they uh, when they set this up, so oh, okay, well, we'll have a maximum of 30 students, but we'll reduce that number arbitrarily if you present your screen or if something else happens. And so even though you have the number of tiles set, Google doesn't necessarily respect that. And so what you can do is go to the top right corner of your uh, Chrome window, there's the vertical ellipsis up there, and you can zoom. Right now I've got my zoom level set at 67. Not all of the students are showing on the screen. If I jump over to another screenshot here, I've changed my zoom level to 50, and now you can see that all of the students, the ghosts have gone. You can see that there's a couple more tiles in the in the bottom of my, of my screen. And so now I can see all of my students. And that is essential in terms of being able to take attendance in the um, uh, in my extension, that I have to have all of the students showing on the screen to determine whether or not they're still there. When those students get ghosted, when they fall off the screen, so if I change the zoom level, all references to them are removed. And so uh, I don't know whether or not they're in the meet anymore. The extension doesn't know whether or not they're in the meet. And so they get marked as, as absent. And so, Long story short, um, when you have your meet going, so let me jump back to the meet over here, um, come up to the, so even though I've got my 49 tiles there, you may have to come up to the vertical ellipsis in the top right corner and change your zoom level 
so that all of them appear on the screen. And that will do a better job of um, uh, making the, uh, the attendance accurate. Now, the downside of that is you can see that everything gets smaller on the screen. That includes the chat pane. So if your kids are chatting uh, or sending messages in the chat pane, um, it's going to be very difficult to read them, or at least for me, with my uh, with my uh, late 50 eyes, uh, I, it's I, I can't read it. So I think that that's a, a major problem in the in the product uh, or the updates that uh, that Google is rolling out. Uh, this vertical ellipsis in the bottom corner, and actually, sorry, hang on, let me zoom out again so we can actually see this, or I can see it. Vertical ellipsis, report a problem, send feedback. Let them know what you think. Um, you know, it's bad enough that they're killing uh, grid view. Fine, okay. You know, maybe they maybe it was causing problems. I don't know. I didn't see it. It seemed to be very reliable for me. But if they're going to replace it, well, then they have to replace it with something that is at least as good, if not better. And uh, in my humble opinion, what they've got right now ain't better. So, long story short, uh, you may need to cripple or remove grid view fix, and then change to the tiled layout and set the zoom level appropriately. And that, that's a new, uh, a new uh, kicker that, uh, that I just learned this morning. Uh, hope that helps. Take care. Have a good day. Talk to you soon.